everybody. Um, my parents and Luna are getting ready to leave. Um, today they're having a VBS work day at uh, my parents' church. And since I'm working today, she's gonna they're gonna take Luna and they have play, kid playrooms and stuff that she can play in and I'm sure she'll enjoy helping too. And then um, Luna, Peyton, I'm gonna drop her off at my um, grandma and grandpa Scott's house. So that way they can actually get a little individual time and it's okay for the girls to be separated every now and then. Luna, hey, you need to quit walking around with your juice. You finish your juice? Anyway, so I'm gonna leave the camera with my mom and dad and Luna because uh, it's just a little bit too much for me to ask my grandparents to record for me. So I'm going to let my mom and dad record when they're with Luna today. Come on, let's go to the bathroom. You can come back out here. Hey Luna, show me what you just did. Did you just... <laughs> Are you guys putting up stones? You're gonna make our church building look like it's an old Roman city, huh? Mm -hmm. We're like we're where Paul lived. You girls are doing a great job of keeping those straight. I am so impressed. <laughs> those, um, Luna, look at me. Are you helping? Yeah. bedtime and Luna looks like she's already passed out and Peyton is too and she is holding her daddy doll she's just hugging on it and loving on it and she fell asleep just like that so sweet all right keep looking we're at grandma grandpa's house staying here after the fire and Luna's awesome? been obsessed lately with Peyton sitting in her lap and just trying to be a little mommy. <laughs> okay, okay, she did it like that. <laughs> now we're doing hair salon while Luna reads a book. <laughs> Fix Luna's hair, Pepe. Fix her hair. There you go. Oh, you making it beautiful? I have the elastic bandage on the Is it beautiful? <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's called a self adhering. But this is, this elastic bandage is more like an ace wrap. So I have two different kinds in here. Okay, try again. Here you go. Hi, Peyton. Hi. 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 She's walking right now. Hi. 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 Hi.
some little shopping area in there you want to turn in there. Don't you know, stick your so you'll see the bank's on the first time. Okay. And actually, it's on the south side of that. Are you rec is she actually recording? Yeah. Oh, so you gotta she's go. making people dizzy. <laughs> Don't so stick you your finger up my nose. <laughs> turn. What else are you going to tell everybody what you're plugging? Okay. But one of the things that is beautiful. Actually, I went no. that way. I turned into a I see toys. 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 I see it has a bunch of houses, excuse me, shops, shops, you know, on the west side. I turn in that one. The next, the next little area is like about 50 feet, you know, and that goes straight down the bank side. But you go down the bank side and you got to cover over this other road to get around and get back out. All right, everyone. So I'm sure you are wondering why I have not been able to record the past th three weeks. Um, Wiley is starting to record again, and um, I wanted I needed to put this uh, clip in real quick with Monday's video, um, the video from Monday, July 3rd, to kind of explain things a little bit. Um, Monday evening, the my parents, we were at my parents' house, of course, because I'm living there. Um, we were watching TV, the girls were in bed, and uh, there's a storm, really bad thunderstorm. And the next thing we know, the power goes out. And um really loud explosion. And uh my mom just saw white. Me and my dad kind of saw like a ball of fire almost in front of us, in front of the TV. Uh the fire alarm started going off. So we're like, okay. And then all of a sudden they just stopped. So we thought, okay, well maybe it's just an initial reaction um from the lightning strike. And uh so my parents we all went outside to try and see if we were going to smoke and my mom went ahead and called 911 right away because we knew it was a direct lightning strike and uh, we uh, looked around outside trying to see anything and that's when I started. We could, I could smell the smoke and my, par my parents started to see the smoke. So we're like, okay, we got to get out. So we ran inside. Um, Lucy, my parents' dog, one of the beagles, I was already running outside following us. So we went ahead and grabbed her and stuck her in the car. And uh, then we ran inside. I grabbed Peyton. Um, Peyton was still dead asleep. Um, no, I grabbed Luna, sorry. Um, Peyton was dead asleep still. Like, nothing woke her up. Um, Luna was awake in bed, plugging her ears because it was loud because the fire alarms were going off again. And... Um, so I grabbed Luna because I knew she was heavier and my mom was trying to get Peyton but since she was asleep she was just total dead weight so she was having a hard time getting her out. So then my dad took over grabbed Peyton and we put them in the car and uh, Peyton woke up the second we put her in the car. And then we got, um, wrestled my two dogs, I mean neighbors came out right away too, they knew, they could see, helping us get everyone out. Um, we got a neighbor got Christian and he was not very happy about that and I was trying to get Hercules well my I was trying to push him out the door and he would not go like he's a 90 pound boxer and he was like impossible to get out of that door um so I'm like grabbing him by his you know neck back here because he doesn't have a collar on and he wouldn't go and so finally someone helped me and got him in the car got the bird out the neighbors took the bird but we couldn't get the cats. We were trying so hard to find them. I found my cat, Watson, and my parents' cat, Hiccup, in the dining room, and I was chasing them around, trying to get them out. And where do they run? They run into my parents' bedroom. That is where the lightning struck. Um, the lightning struck in the attic into my parents' bedroom. Um, so, ran in there, and at that point, we didn't know where the lightning struck exactly, but trying to catch him and I just couldn't catch him and my mom was in there she had to get her wedding ring and we look up and through the vent their sealed the vents are in the ceiling and um we saw the fire you know the glow of the red through the vent and so we're like and the smoke and we just like we have to get out we just have to pray that the cats are going to find a safe hiding spot so we got out and I'm telling four um Fire stations came, an ambulance, couple police cars. It was amazing how many neighbors came out to help us, you know. Um, of course, it's still pouring down rain this whole time. And uh, during that time, 
Oh, Dozer was missing. Dozer was missing, my parents' older beagle. Uh, the neighbor, one of the neighbor's sons, was kept coming back in the house looking for the cats and the dog, and he heard Dozer bellowing and he found him. And all the while, his dad, the guy who actually lives next door, had a hose on trying to get the fire out. So that was kind of fun. Um, not fun, but funny that he was trying to do that because it was kind of far gone. <laughs> Yeah, so that was really fun. In the midst of it, I ended up, I was okay throughout it. And then um, towards the end, I started having panic attacks. So I got checked out and I was fine. It was just a panic attack. But um, so once everything was out, we eventually found Watson. When everything calmed down, we were allowed to go back in there. So we did find my cat, but my parents' two cats were still missing. And um, my damage was pretty bad. And yeah. Uh, and then the next day we found Lexi, my parents' white cat, and then the day after that we found Hiccup. So we went ahead and had Hiccup checked out. So the good thing is everyone was safe, all the animals got out, and that's the good thing. And, um, damage is like 123000 to the structure of the house, and it's like 30, 37000 worth of damage to personal property. Um, thankfully most of their clothes are saved. I think all of their clothes are saved because it was, most of the damage was, you know, in their bedroom, in their master bedroom with the closet and the bathroom and, um, then some of the living room and my room actually just got water damage and then it turns out a few days later then, you know, the ceiling completely collapsed in my room. I'll have to put some pictures up because I did not, um, get a video of that and, uh, of my room being collapsed in so thankfully they got all my stuff out they rushed all my clothes to be cleaned because i was i'm leaving soon i'm leaving thursday and um so we got all my clothes back and most of my stuff i got back there's some stuff that is not saved like my laptop um my uh, most of luna's presents from her birthday and little stuff like that so we didn't lose too much but you know my parents are the ones who lost most of everything and so we're actually in a rental house right now that was a headache to get but we're in a rental house it's gonna sit, take six to eight months for the house to be rebuilt pretty much because they have to take it down to the studs and um once they've you know have done more evaluations and stuff they notice they're like you know all these joists in the attic are completely scorched um just a few more seconds and the entire house would have been done for it would have caught fire and so um thank goodness for the firemen and policemen and the emts everyone who came out i mean the firemen you should have seen them they were just they knew exactly what to do clockwork it was amazing watching them work unfortunate seeing them work at the same time you know uh oh someone's starting to wake up so yeah that is why i was not able to record for the past three weeks or edit you know the last couple videos from the week before it happened because i had no access to a computer and all that so finally up in the rental house got internet and all that stuff so that's why i'm able to ed edit videos again anyway so here's a little clip i'm going to put in after this um about all the fire that uh, the damage so i recorded a little bit of the damage that was in the house so i'm glad to be back video um videoing vlogging for you guys and for my husband so yeah uh here's the little clip and um all right so this is the fire we had last night lightning struck the office is fine most of the damage was in the back we just got lots of debris all over the floor kitchen is fine um girl's room is okay anything that was plugged in electronics wise is pretty much done for. Bathroom is fine. My bedroom, you probably can't tell on the camera, but the ceiling is all wet. Got water damage. The floor is a little wet over here. Girl's sock bin is full of water. That thing is making noises. And everything smells of smoke. This is the living room. All 
the wires hanging down. There's all the stuff they put over there. And the floors are just covered in debris. This is where we got most of the damage in my parents' room. Put a tarp over it. All of this is all gone. Here's the bathroom. Oh, get water in my shoe. Um, get that electric outlet. We got a nice sunroof now. It's tarps they put over the holes. Burnt to a crisp, the attic is. It's the closet.